You know the Indy 500, you know the 24 Hours of Le Mans, but where is the world's fastest racetrack? I'm Chris Woodyard from USA Today. We're here doing a multi-part series with car collector Bruce Meyer. And Bruce, what's the answer? Where is the world's fastest racetrack? Bonneville, near Salt Lake City, Utah, by far and away. And, and tell us about this car. How does that fit into Bonneville? Well, growing up in California, Southern California, and being a hot rodder, uh, your dream, the top of your bucket list, is to go over 200 miles an hour in a hot rod, in a roadster. So I'm in my 70s, and my whole life dream has been to go over 200 at Bonneville, which is very, very special. Bonneville is eight miles of salt flats, and it is just, it is, it is mecca for speed freaks. And if you haven't been to Bonneville, you need to go because you cannot believe there's a place on earth that's that spectacular. And how did you ever pull this off? How did you go 204 miles an hour in this car? Tell us about the car. Well, this is a 1929 Ford, and that is what it's called by designation. But it has about as much 29 Ford in it as your new Porsche. And basically, it's a, it's a frame underneath with a fiberglass body that replicates a 29 Ford and it has a 32 Ford grille but underneath it is about a thousand horsepower of Chevrolet and this was a car that was built by Gary and Mike Brower uh, in the 70s and 80s and run at Bonneville and then I was able to buy it a few years ago about four years ago and have Mike Cook who built it for them completely go over the car for me because my goal was to go over 200 and we accomplished that two years ago. 204. 204. And were you scared? Were you thrilled or both? All of the above. But when you get in the car you have no time to be frightened because you're committed. And having never gone 200 in a Roadster, you, I didn't quite know what to expect. And it would be kind of like if you went on an old car flat out on a dirt road, it would be very much the same as going 200 at Bonneville because the car moves around you don't do anything real quick and if the car decides it wants to go right you're going right you don't just turn the wheel to the left because it's a very very sensitive car why did you want to do this in an old hot rod instead of trying to do it in a modern car well I'd gone 222 in a more modern car an 83 Camaro so that was a special event going over 200 and it's kind of like the rodeo you know they have the uh, barrel races and the roping and then they have the bull riders and the guys that ran the roadsters to me looked like the real thing and it was something I just thought now that would be fun to do over 200 in a roadster so to every hot rodder out there I know that's what you're thinking and you got to do it and I guess he's right you got to do it but I don't know if I'm going to try it for USA Today I'm Chris Woodyard